Everybody wants to be a master. Everybody wants to show their skills. Everybody wants to get there faster. Make their way to the top of the hill. Hey, time, baby. Gonna get just a little bit better. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. One more step up ladder. It's a whole new Pokemon. To <laughs> I just ruined that. It's a whole new place. Brand new attitude. Just still gotta catch them all. Bam, 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 can be. Doodly do do do. Okay. Doodly do do do. Pokemon Sino. Whoops. I got the wrong button. Crap. Crap. Pokemon Sino. Doodly do do do. Doodly do do do. Yeah, going in for the wind up. Oh, he's gonna run away. Oh, you gotta, you're breaking my balls, man. All right, I'll be back. I kept going easy on that Turtwig. I shouldn't have. I got cocky with my Pokemon singing. Sometimes I gotta do this, but now it's getting colder out. <sighs> At least it's a nice brisk walk. I should do this in the morning. Instead of in the dead of night. I think that's what this game was intended <laughs> intended for. <laughs> for people to actually go me. out and socialize with the world. Not me. Look at me. I'm a shut-in. I don't, th I don't think I caught a shell mint. Remember, I'm saving myself for when I... whole lucky egg challenge where I'm just me. mass evolving stuff. Okay. Man, I look like death right now. Oops, wrong button again. <laughs> Raspberry. It's a Pokeball. Pokeball, go! They stop saying that. They just throw it. We're at the one day. Alright, let's check it out. Okay, that's that. Good thing it wasn't so convoluted like last time, that's for sure. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> see you tomorrow. Hey everybody, gonna do my daily activity. Let's see what we got going on here. Complete timed research. Oh, damn it. Uh, what does this mean? Tuesday, the 22nd, September 28th. I don't have any Mega Evolved Pokemon. The Halloween timed research will reward determined trainers with Gengar Mega Energy. Pokemon appearing in the wild in raids will be will be ones that appear large on the Pokemon Go map. Mega Evolve your buddy to give it treats to have it appear on the map for comparison. What? This sucks. I don't even have a Mega. I'm like Ash Ketchum in this bitch. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I, I just like catching Pokemon and like having sentimental value towards the ones I do catch. Hell, I don't even want to catch them all. I just want to have my favorites and then just battle with them. I'm not, I'm not about that catch them all stuff. I mean, all you folks out there acting like Paul and Gary Oak, you know, catching them all and throwing them out if they have crappy stats. I don't like that mechanic. I don't like the fact, fact that it's now a catch and release game, you know? I, I like, uh, you know, catching my one Pokemon, and it's gonna be there forever. Me and Dragon Thing, right down there. Little Dragon Thing has been my buddy ever since buddies have been a thing. Is that stupid? Probably. I could be buddies with my Kyogre and be powering up my Kyogre, but you know what? I'm loyal as shit. Fuck that. I gotta find a better way to get Kyogre candies than, than to just walk around with it. And plus, I feel like, you know, it's the first Pokemon I ever caught. My first buddy. Look at him. Look at him being a little dragon thing. 
Look at how cute he is. Oh, but you, but you, but you. But like, I made this point, I think, like last week. It's, it's in training, like, disloyalty in the minds of young people. And I don't like that, man. That's not what Pokemon was. I mean, it's evolved to something completely different where it's just about stats and competitive upper hands of stuff like that. And, you know, getting the competitive upper hand. I understand, but, you know, when you start talking about, like, EVs and IVs, I understand the fundamentals and all of that battle strategy stuff. You know, when I had Omega Ruby, I was, like, sitting there breeding my Lopunny when Mega Lopunny was a thing, because I'm a big, I'm a bunny person. We found a candy. I'm a big bunny person, so, like, Lopunny seems to, was the only Pokemon that was, like, a rabbit that I was into. I'm not, I'm not going to EV breed a diggersby what do you think what do you think i am here i'm not <laughs> i hated diggersby i saw bunnelby and i'm like ah oh, that's a cute bunny i can't wait to see it evolve it's going to be in my team forever when i was playing pokemon y then like it evolved into this ugly freaking like forearm eared grotesque monster and i'm like can we please have on two legs on two legs too bipedal rabbits are not bipedal they look adorable when they're on their hind legs but they're not bipedal i need a good bipedal anatomically correct rabbit in order for me to feel satisfied with the pokemon franchise i'm gonna catch this not to with the pokemon franchise i need that bipedal goodness with because otherwise it's like Cause you got a bipedal dog Pokemon. Oh shit. You got a, you got the bipedal cat or sorry, you got the quadpedal dog and cat Pokemon. You know, you fucking aggressive piece of shit. But you don't have that with rabbits. I I just you know bunnies are getting more and more popular now. Why why not make it on four legs? I understand the fire type Pokemon. The fire type Pokemon. Uh, there we go, I'm just gonna throw it straight. The fire type Pokemon always has to be bipedal for whatever reason. It's for the for the fanboys, I suppose. You're a feisty one. You wow. But like I don't know, I, I feel like with the uh, quadpedal you're not losing that much. Like, Venusaur is a top percentage Pokemon, like, OG, not even just because he's OG, but because, you know, there's something more relatable in the animal kingdom when, it, when we have more bipedal mons, you know, it's like, it's not all one-sided, you know, like, Swampert's like a hybrid you know, like quadpedal, bipedal, it could be whatever. I like hybrids like that. That's why I love Typhlosion so much. But you you see, and like, here's the thing though, like, when it comes to like Gen 5, this is why I don't like Gen 5 as much, because it's, you had, I, I think it's, what I like is the consistency. You see Tepig, quadpedal, then it evolves to Pignite, bipedal. I understand like the Chinese origins of, you know, what, what their source material was. And then, you know, Embor also bipedal. I guess it makes sense that it's like, at least, you know, mid-stage it became bipedal. But like, you see with, you see the consistency with Torchic. Torchic, Combusted, Blaziken, all bipedal. No, none of them were quadpedal. And I love that. You know, maybe that's why I didn't really like Marsh Tomp as much but Swampert kind of saved it because it was like a hybrid quad bipedal type of thing but it was like quadpedal mudkip bipedal marsh tomp to quadpedal Swampert but the biggest thing for me was like you started out with bipedal Oshawott and Duwat and then Samurott was quadpedal like what happened there I mean it's supposed to be like the samurai Pokemon last I recalled samurais would need to be on two legs you know there's probably some like convoluted explanation that completely destroys my argument on this situation but I, I think all I'm asking for is consistency on that part specifically and I think you got that with eighth gen I mean I would have liked score bunny to be like like <laughs> a quadpedal rabbit at least it's bipedal throughout you know it's not like trying to pander to any one i guess flavor i don't I, <laughs> but to conclude though well another theory i do have about this is that around fifth or fourth generation you started noticing a newer more cartoony art style 
this Pokemon is, you know, Cantonian goodness. There have been a lot of YouTubers that have talked about the um, overall aesthetics of uh, the Pokemon that have changed over time where their body proportions have gotten more cartoony. And I said it happened more around, uh, it's been happening more around uh, Gen 4 and 5-ish was when you started seeing the beginning iterations of becoming more of a cartoony art style. And, um, three day streak, nice. But part of me believes that it, it came from, uh, um, I remember looking at, like, one of the, the guides, like, from Diamond and Pearl, where, like, there's, like, a PSA for, like, don't shove your pets into small, uh, you know, Pokeballs or anything like that because there was a, an actual problem where there were kids shoving their pets into Pokeballs. And I wonder if making them more cartoony was a way to protect themselves from legal issues. And I think that's why they're going more towards that route where they're like, okay, you know, if we make these Pokemon not look as much like animals, but enough like animals for people to, for, for kids to be like, okay, I can disassociate Pokemon from actual animals. And I think that's that's what happened. I don't know if that's been proven in an interview or not. I'm not really up and happening with the goings-ons with the Pokemon company. I'm not a journalist, you know? This is just fan speculation. But from being a fan for, you know, a long-ass time, that's the best educated guess I have at the very least. I didn't think this would be a vlog thing. I just wanted to catch some Pokemon. But... Let me know what you guys think. Is my theory bogus or, or not? And also, it's late at night right now, so... But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Are Pokemon designed now in a more cartoony fashion on purpose? Or was that something that just happened as they were changing artists throughout time? Let me know in the comments section. And I th I'm betting on more of it being like a legal protection issue. Because they, they've dealt with, you know, that one Alakazam... Or no, it was a Kadabra card with the Swastika which, granted, was initially, the swastika was a Buddhist symbol, but it got perverted from the uh, Nazis. So I, it's understandable the legal issue there, and also, you know, having the lightning bolts on Kadabra resembling Blitzkrieg, and also the whole shtick with the spoon bending was a telekinetic thing that a Jewish magician had. So I can understand the gripe with that a little bit. Bit on the nose there. And I think um, another example would be something like Jinx, you know, being black and thinking, you know, oh, it's Jinx. She's in blackface, which it's, it's based off of a Norse entity. I think if you look at like an earlier design of Jinx, it was a half black, half white faced deity. I think it, what is it? The goddess Hell from Norse? Yeah, she was, um, I think Jinx was actually based off of that deity but you only see like the blackface part and i think that's what offended people and also cutting brock from the show because they feared that people were going to think that they were making fun of black people which in fact people from america loved brock and that's why they brought him back and i'm glad they did that too because i mean i love tracy but you know he's not brock you know the the, the trio misty ash brock iconic as hell and i'm glad they they brought brock back that was a really cool exciting thing Thing to see happen when uh, Pokemon Johto Journeys was first becoming a thing. Like, you know, just bringing stuff back. That's always a heartwarming thing. I equate it to, like, uh, the McRib or something like that. A lot of people were into the McRib and, or uh, what is it, the Shamrock Shake at McDonald's, where I don't care, it's fast food, it's really bad for you. So... I have no stake in the game, but people get emotional about uh, bringing back old products and um, intellectual properties back into the forefront of things. But I hope there's there are more anatomically correct Pokemon, to say the least, like bunnies. And that was the whole rabbit hole that I went into in the previous day, and I wanted to do that before I lost my train of thought, basically, for this video. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I haven't played the DLC yet, the uh, the outfit that this, uh, this strapping young lad has, my avatar has. I really want to play that DLC, but for some reason I, I'm just not motivated to play it for whatever reason. Maybe it's because it was a good summer, 
I spent a lot of time outdoors more so. I got in, into a bit more shape fitness wise. Been focusing on a different a bunch of other things too on top of that. So, you know, as the weather's been getting colder and colder and colder and colder and colder, you know, maybe I'll cocoon in and play some Pokemon and actually play uh, Link Between Worlds. I haven't played that yet. It's been a year almost. I should have just waited, but uh, I really wanted to get it because now, now Nintendo's restricting um, when you can get a game or not which i think they're doing that with the super mario bros game and that's very frustrating to learn that they're having a cutoff date for how long they're going to be selling something or releasing it i mean i understand the business thing aspect of it like they want to sell everything that they have all of their inventory but and you know you know every company including video game companies are suffering because of the coronavirus pandemic so i kind of get it hopefully it's temporary i hope that they don't take this as a slippery slope to be less and less and less and less inconvenient nintendo come on man you're like you're on top of it you know like you're you're you know you're back in the game you're people are taking you seriously again like don't do this to me <laughs> don't do this to us you know and i could go on for hours about the pokemon animations and how they should um team up with the uh company game freak should team up with the company that made was it genius sonority um that made up the pokemon coliseum game but I, I digress from that i'm not gonna get into the coliseum thing i can make a separate video about coliseum but till next time being great everybody catch them all and uh i'll see you in the next video see you tomorrow <laughs> Oof, got a week till I uh, get Je can Je get Jesse and James in my life. Oh, there they are. Oh my God. All right, first let me get this turtwig. So I, I could at least get my daily, daily goodums. Gonna go at it with a curveball. Yeah, there we go. Turtwig is relatively close compared to a Bulbasaur. I don't know if that's true or not, but it feels like it sometimes. Four day streak. Wonderful. Happy Thursday. <laughs> All right, appraise it. Kind of crappy. I should really put some pineapple berries to these guys. Oh, there's a Snorlax nearby. I have not caught a Snorlax yet. All right, for first things first. To protect the world from devastation. To unite all people with an ornation. To denounce the evil of truth and love. To extend our reach from the stars above. And they don't finish the motto. What's a motto with you? Okay, so my Pokemon are pretty much uh, all dead. Um, gonna get that one. I actually gotta think about this. They normally use poison types. So I might be... This is where I brain fart. Should I use an ice type? No, that's not. I gotta use a ground type or something. Um, I gotta use high high CP, high PP. Actually, you know what? Right on might actually be most beneficial. I'm just gonna use the max potions because I got way too many of them. There we go. My army. That actually might be good with the victory bell. Taros and Kyogre. I'll give it a shot. Jesse and James are a lot easier. And then we're starting with Jesse. E cans. You you veteran Pokemon players, you guys remember when Ekans was called E cans from Pokemon Stadium? Those were the days. Those the the nineties. They got to bring that back. Call them e -cans. There we go, we got some iron head. Gonna slice. Yo, yo, yo. Uh, slice it. Yeah. Taste my wrath. 
Oh god, I'm gonna swap. Oh, that was a bad swap. I'm gonna I'm gonna do Kyogre. God of the sea. And I'm gonna block it. I'm not dealing with that. So you can use Bug Buzz, Aerial Ace. Yeah, that would have done a number on the victory bill. Glad I picked what I picked. A bagon. A bagel. Okay, maybe th Thunder won't be super effective, but it'll at least be something. Oh, God, I missed one. <laughs> this is tough. Tough to keep the camera straight. Not very effective, but it still kicked the shit out of them. All right. Nice. Finally, I got the three Team Rocket... Uh, Team Go Rocket. You're just a twerp. Why are you so strong? Because I'm a protagonist, biatch. Go blast off elsewhere. Not in my house. Nice, I got five. And an E cans. Hopefully it's got high it's got it's got a lot of juice going for it. I gotta wait for that Nanab berry to activate. I'm just gonna throw it straight. Premier balls, man. They're rare. You know, I remember Premier Balls when they were like, you could barely get them in the Hoenn region. And uh, Cherish Ball kind of changed that for me. Cherish Balls are more of a rarity. I mean, Dream Ball is the most rare, but like, let's, let's measure its... Kind of crappy? Okay. Then we'll do James. Uh, what does he normally use? I think I should be fine. I hope. Yeah. I think I'll be fine with the, with this lineup. But yeah, Premier Balls were... I remember how rare they were. I mean, at least when I was a kid. Hopping. Man. Seeing James with the coughing, though... That brings, that brings back a lot of memories. Jesse and James with coughing and Ekans. Those were the days. Man, that episode in, uh... When they got into the Hoenn region. Oh, nice. When they got right into the Hoenn region and they had to get rid of those Pokemon. Man, I really hope that... They come back. I haven't seen the new anime yet, but let's use them. Build them. I'm gonna use um, Sigitor. That was probably stupid. Yeah, Steel type. That was really stupid. Actually, I could have stayed with Pinsir. But oh well. I'm gonna do uh, Solar Beam. Okay, so it's the same direction as the Bug type move. It was, but just a little bit more graceful. We're blasting off again. His eyes. I know he's an anime character, but his eyes look humongous. Especially for an anime character. Or lopsided. I'm not sure which. For some reason, like, you could tell that there's the American style 3D animation going on. Because he's just so loopy and lumpy. <laughs> Lanky. I don't, I don't know how to describe it noodly i don't know i can't pinpoint it but for some reason i i see this 3d animation and i think like jimmy neutron or, or something maybe proportionate to how humans are supposed to look whereas anime is not that i don't know your guess is as good as mine wow six pokeballs nice coffee all right, he's gonna. There's a big reason why I'm running out of Nanab berries. It's because I have to catch rowdy Pokemon like this. They just won't shut up. See, I thought I was gonna have a surplus of Nanabs, but nope. Caught five Pokemon. Nice. Two thirty-seven. Okay, not as good. I'll probably in a later date compare PPs of the Shadow 
coughing in Ekans, but I'm going to miss those guys. Like, even though they, they blast off again. Mega Buddy. Cool. Um, I got to make more great throws. There's probably some field stuff that I got to do. Got another Stampy. You know, there's, there's a lot of stuff that I really need to do. Mega Discovery. Raid Pass. Nice. Troubling situation. Oh, God, I got to claim these guys. I didn't need to leave my room if I next time I fail at uh you know one of the Pokemons that just show up you know what I'm talking about like you know how like a Pokemon spawns right next to your character next time I fail at catching one of those I don't have to leave because I have these guys from a troubling situation and there's probably going to be some comments saying like oh you, I can't believe you didn't you didn't do this oh you didn't I didn't even get the 1500 XP so I, I wonder what's going to come about, you know, if, if doing all of this stuff. Because that looks like a big... The jumpstart research, I think, is the first quest that you do. I hope there's more quests like that. I like that in uh, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, where you unlock something and it's something in-game that doesn't have a time constraint. It's just whenever you get to it, and I like that. I don't want to live my life around Pokemon, even though I've been doing it every day. <laughs> I don't want to... I want to do it in my own discretion and not feel like I have to do it every day if I want to get everything. I mean, does that make me less of a Pokemon fan that I'm not obsessed about it every day? I mean, I've been with this whole franchise for like, you know, 20 plus years. Maybe 25? 1996, how long has that been? It's going to be 20, 25 soon. Wow. Quarter of a century. Whew. Now I know how my uncle felt when he played the original Super Mario Brothers. And they had their 25th anniversary. I mean, years ago. This was years ago. Man, it's been a good ride, that's for sure. <laughs> I've enjoyed it. And uh, we'll catch more Pokemon. I think we're going to do some of these questies tomorrow. Or whenever I get time to. It'll be the weekend soon. You know, maybe I'll uh, find more time to have some fun and enjoy my life. Until then... Catch them all, boys and girls, okay? Catch them all. I'll be back. Catch them all. Ba -ba -ba. Okay, now everything's officially updated. Okay, for some reason they had to, they have to do the updates. That is one major thing I don't like about Pokemon Go. They have to, you have to get the update. You just have to. No matter what, you got to get the update. And if your operating system isn't good enough, then you're going to have to update your operating system. And holy crap. Holy crap. Oh, Halloween season, I suppose. Holy crap. Whoa. And I got a candy. Whoa. Uh, let me get some... What's who's in here? Oh, nice. Easy pickings. Easy pickings. Yeah, I could just pick anybody for this one. All right. Here we go against Blissey. Should one shot this. Oh, super effective? How's that super effective? Rock type versus normal fairy type. Doesn't make sense. I think I'm gonna save my earthquakes for the. Actually, you know what? I'll just do it now. Bye bye. Knocked out. Chansey and Blissey. Nice. Pijo. Whoever this lady is. This is also another way for me to get rid of my items. Give him a smack. I didn't really need to use Earthquake even. Laparas. Hopefully the Earthquake is saved up. It's been a while since I've been at a gym. So you could probably... There we go. I can just use Earthquake. There we go. <laughs> With the type advantage, I'm still... I'm still winning. And these people are all level 40. 
That's how you can. That's how you know I'm like really slacking on the skill level. I might need to, need to swap out. Oh jeez. Oh no. <laughs> that was a close one. I'm <laughs> like one HP left. Okay, let me battle this one. Grammy O. Okay. Come on, swap. It's pincer. Oh no! Damn it. Now I gotta waste a revive to get my ride on back. Or I could just power it up, actually. Maybe I should just power it up without having to revive it. Because I think it brings it back to 1 HP or something like that. And I could just max potion it. Got plenty of those. X scissor. X scissor. That didn't take him out? What the hell? Her out? Excuse me. I beat the gym. It's it's whatever. You defeated this gym. Great work. Great work, young trainer. Who should I put in there? Um, twenty-four ninety-five. Keep the change, ladies. Twenty-four ninety-five. I'll probably put in that pincer. It'll be easy to knock out in a day, though. Let's put a hyper potion on this pincer. Just so it can die. It's not it's not good CP by any means. But for the most part, I'm gonna give it a berry because it's gonna need it. It's late at night. It's about like 7.30ish. So I should actually can I spin the wheel? Can I spin the wheel? Item bag is still wickedly full. Okay. Actually, I want to see how many items I got. Oh, okay. My dyslexia was like, oh, maybe it's something good. No, it's I'm like a hundred away. Five hundred forty-five to out of four hundred fifty. So that means I gotta use a boatload of Pokemans. Oh, there's a Mega. A Mega Venusaur. Wow, that's a huge, that's a huge Venusaur. I'm not going to be able to, I'm not going to be able to get that, folks. But I will get this Shroomish. I'm going to burn through these items like crazy. I think I'm just going to use Pokeballs, you know, like, people like to get rid of their Pokeballs. But, you know, I like to keep them. Five day streak, here we go. Still haven't done that yet. Wow, that's a really nice one. Attack is a little crappy, though. I'm still gonna star it. Jesus. Got all these Pokemans. I don't know which one to pick first. Alright. Baneri. The weird part of my brain wants to call it venereal disease, but that's, that's not kosher to say. <laughs> On YouTube, specifically. Got venereal disease. Gotta get that checked out, folks. I can't wait to get a mega law bunny. Why? Because it's a bunny. Because it's a bunny. And I'm in the safety of my own car playing my Pokemans. And uh, there are people walking by. That's why I'm looking side to side like, Ooh, is this safe? Am I going to be okay? I'll be fine. Some people that you know, I wonder if some of the cars next to me are like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm playing Pokemon Go and I'm gonna destroy this stupid pincer that's in this gym. You know, screw you, guy in your basic car. Oh, that was a waste. You stupid. You know, I remember when this this uh, game came out. And I spent, I spent money, not money money, but I spent Poke Coins on the, uh, on Pokeballs because I was completely out. And now I have the opposite of that problem. So, I'm, I'm not dealing, like I'm dealing with the opposite of a problem now. So it's a little bit weird for me to, 
Oh, nice. Oh, it's a five-star raid. I'm not going to be able to do that. Yeah, screw that. I can't do that by myself. I need friends. I don't have any friends. <laughs> it's unfortunate, but it's true. Don't have many Poke friends that would play Pokemon. And you know, if you if it's more it's, if it's more than a group of like three people, four is like the dynamic changes quick. I don't know if you've done any you people out there have done any games where it's like you know multiplayer, but the dynamic does change once you get past three people. Three three people is a small team. You know, I think it's one of those like oh crap. Something's like three's a party, four's a crowd, or I don't know. I don't know the saying. It's Rhyhorn. It oddly looks green in the corners of its mouth. Or it's like or is that my is that my blue light filter? I don't know. That has a not so good pee pee. So I'm gonna toss that out in exchange for free stuff. Let's see, do I have a ferret in my Johto decks? Yeah, I do. I think I might have... I don't know if I caught it on purpose or not. Oh, look at those little paws. I love ferret. Too bad, like, most Pokemon in Johto are just crappy statted. Hey, maybe ferret is viable in Pokemon Go. I don't know. The normalist of the normies. Just a little ferret. The cute little cat mouth. There we go. Got that ferret. And then I'm gonna throw a ball. Oh, you, you hyper you little. Okay, nice throw. As a super nice throw. Mm, oh, it's gonna. Oh, okay. I thought it was gonna run away. It didn't run away. Oh, I made another great throw. Look at that. I am just rolling in the the dough. Click it. Got it. And we're good to go, baby. Okay. Transfer. That's my ritual. I gotta double check. Ooh, a Dunsparce. Very underrated Pokemon, Dunsparce. I don't know why it's a normal type. It could be a ground poison if it really wanted to be. Um, or more of a poison type. Um, because it's like a snakey thingy. Oh, and it ran away. Coward. Face me, you coward. Did I catch a Skarmory? I'm seeing that Skarmory fly majestically. I don't think I caught a Skarmory. What, what the hell number is Skarmory? Oh, okay, he's right next to Houndour. Okay, let's... Because I remember I caught him, like, maybe in 2017 on this file. Very good Pokemon. I think eventually I'm going to get to the point where I, I just catch, you know, new Pokemon without worrying about, without blue ballsing the uh, lucky egg thing. Because, you know, it's going to get to a point where, like, yeah, I'm at, like, I need, like, almost half a million of uh, XP, but it's going to get to the point where I'm going to be so close to level 40, so close to max level, that it, it's not going to matter anyways. I think I'm going to use a Pineapple Berry for this guy. And you know I'll do a Great Ball. Because you never know. Oh god, that was a really bad throw. <laughs> Nicked it right at the corner. Oh! That was just a singular shot. Nice. With the six. Wait, hold on. Venusaur Mega Energy. They're not doing the stones. It's disappointing. It's disappointing. I, kind of, I was kind of hoping that the keystones would turn into like a key items thing. You know? You know? You know, that, that, that's the one thing about evolution and mega evolution and stuff like that. Like, why not just have, like, keystone and megastone? You know, like, oh, I got multiple megastones. And, uh, you know, or megastone X and Y. And 
you know, X works for, you know, Charizard X and Mewtwo X, and Y is just the rest of them, you know? I don't know. The X and Y mechanics, I don't think they thought everything through at first. Um, that's my, that's my speculative opinion. It doesn't matter. I mean, Dynamax, I, at first I was like, man, I kind of wish it was armored Pokemon. But, you know, as Dynamax came through, it's like, is this the, the way to fix Mega Evolution without having to, like, change the mechanic of Mega Evolution? Because I know in Pokemon Go, they did away with collecting Mega Stones, which is kind of relieving. I'm glad it's it's just like a key items thing. I need a ran. Yeah, because if it was like a... Kind of like EXP share. It was, it's better off being a key items thing, something you could toggle on and off. Um, or if there was like a Mega Stone pouch. Only thing though is you got to animate all of those specific animations for uh, the unique um, class of Pokemon that are Megas. And you know how Game Freak is when it comes to animating more than they have to. What am I doing? Pokedex. Okay, so I did get a, an Arbok. Oh yeah, I, I evolved one of my uh, snakes, my E-cans. Wow, okay. My depth perception is <laughs> is not really good with this. Okay. Okay, it's... Oh, great throw. Okay. I should have been focusing on getting great throws because I got that achievement to do. Maybe I, I should do that in that right now. Oh, I suck. Well. Yeah, another great throw. <laughs> Maybe I could get five on this one. Maybe it'll run away. Uh, or maybe I could get the five. Oh, I just missed it. <laughs> oh, maybe I got one more chance. Maybe I could do it. Ah, see, I knew it was gonna... <sighs> oh, well, if I catch it, I catch it. If I don't, it's... Okay. Wow, I got two, like... Uh, uh, rare catches, you know, when it's, when it only nudges twice, that's how you know you're good at what you do with throwing the balls. I think that was like a pity catch. Wow, more spawned. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going. Chikorita, maybe it's my chance to get that great throw. I don't know if I like Chikorita's new cry, because they updated them all once they, uh, got into 3D... Pokemon. I much I would much rather prefer um I got the last great throw. Nice. I would much rather prefer the uh audio that came from the Pokemon Stadium games. Those had the best uh realistic audio, you know, cuz they didn't really have as much restrictions as like a Game Boy, you know. And they only updated them way later. Um, that would be cool. That would be cool if they, um, even if they just did, like, a blend of the Game Freak audio and the, uh, Pokemon Stadium one. I don't know what company did Pokemon Stadium. All I know is that Pokemon Stadium was cool. <laughs> and that's all you need to know. It was, uh, it was very dynamic. And I think Battle Revolution, with the... You know, and actually, when you look at Battle Revolution, Pokemon Stadium, all of those, and this is the whole complaint with the Galarian, like the Gen 8, like, oh, the, the we were promised good animations. Why didn't they give us good animations? But when you look at Battle Revolution and Pokemon Stadium, almost the same animations. You know, like, I think it was Genius, Genius Sonority that handled the Battle Revolution games. It's Genius Sonority that did Battle Revolution, Pokemon Coliseum, and Pokemon XD. But now they got them... Now they got the same company that did Pokemon XD, the Coliseum series, and Battle Revolution on this stupid, like, Candy Crush Cafe 
style game. It's like, are you kidding me? You could... This is like the the company that's known for like the legendary wonderfulness of Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness. That was such a cool story. I mean, like... I don't care if it's a mature theme or not, or it's like, ooh, it's it's all bad and dark, and there's like some actual uh, big baddies that isn't just a joke team like Team Rocket. But god damn it. The animations of the Pokemon were so much more dynamic. They really honed it in when, when it came to Gen 4 and Battle Revolution. Like, this is the company you gotta team up with to make the mainline games. I understand Game Freak has been doing has been running the show for the main, mainline games ever since the beginning. I completely get it. But at least, you know, a little bit of teamwork. A little bit of integration. I say don't just, uh, you know, leave a stag... St st stag. Don't just leave, like, a stagnant still image of... I gotta get to Skarmory. Oh my god. Oh my god. Won't shut up. You get my point, though. Like, don't just leave a, a still, like, standing idol. Like, this animation right here is, is just a Skarmory that looks like it's gliding in the air. That's all right. But have you seen how, like, you know how flappy a, a Pidgey gets when it's, like, I don't know, like, you know how like a Pidgey is in Pokemon Stadium where it's like just flapping its wings and it looks like a bird? Like we need that with Pidgey, Pidgeotto, Pidgeot, you know, all the normal bird types. Instead of just it being a glidey looking boy like this guy. Ooh, look at me glide. And he's got, you know, like his cry stance and like this is probably used for like his special attack move. But nothing special, you know, like, it. I feel like Skarmory is a, is a bad example because, like, he's kind of got that steel type, you know, I gotta stay still and stagnant like an aero, aeroplane. What is this, 1920? Aeroplane. <laughs> but when it comes with other bird Pokemon, or even just Pokemon in general that have an animal basis... You know, animate more of it like being an anatomically correct, not just anatomically correct, but just what would it do if it were alive instead of, you know, just standing there. Here's a really good example. You look at Typhlosion. You know, back in the day... Oh, it's a Whalmer. <laughs> you, back in the day, though, Typhlosion, it had its, like, spiky... You know, flamey's going. It had its. It was beautiful. Now you see Typhlosion, and it's just standing there without its ignited goodness, and that's the whole reason people love Typhlosion. It's because it gets pissed off, and then it just, uh, pff, you know, mermaid magic flames coming out of its ass. I like that <laughs> in a Pokemon. <laughs> it's a weird way to describe it. Um, I gotta guess this Whalmer. I'm running out of Pokeballs. Pokeballs. I should probably see what that great throw is gonna get me as a reward. Probably more items that I don't need, because I'm, I'm completely tapped out with that. I know my next upgrade is gonna be getting items. Okay, that's a one star. No, no. It's a small PP. Um, how many items do I have left from all that? I got 50 more to burn through. Oh boy, maybe I should be here tomorrow. You get what I'm saying though? Like, I mean, YouTubers talk about this crap all the time. But they're just like, oh yeah, the animations aren't as good and they didn't do anything about it, bleh. Nobody made a complaint about it in X and Y. Um, I don't know, maybe I was absent in that because I had a very busy life back then. I'm open to that possibility too. Like, <laughs> there's sometimes... When I get into the Pokemon community and I just bow out because a lot of them are just mean. They're just not good people to talk to. Well, Snover is an easy target. Because it's like, yoink. Very close up. I like that. If you want to get a streak of excellent throws, you know, just do Snover. Very close up. Or Weedle. Weedle's that basic one. That basic biatch. 
Because I, I keep looking at, like, videos of, like, ooh, come on. I think it was, like, True Green 7 who talking about, like, these were the controversies of each generation. And, um... There's some... Okay, I think it might have been this one. Mega Buddy. Mega Buddy! Okay, how long has he been there? 20 minutes. And I've been here 20 minutes. And I think I'll do the... You know, wild Pokemons rewards. I'll probably do that later, like tomorrow or something. Oh, another Arbok. Alright, I'm gonna catch this guy, and I'm gonna... Oh, Jesus. Alright, alright. I'm just gonna razz it up. Because I actually get a... And an excellent throw. That's gotta be... That's gotta be good. That's gotta be money right there. What? Are you... Are you kidding me? I think I'm gonna switch it to a great, great ball just because I'm. Maybe if I do like a curveball, nice throw. Great with a raspberry. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. <laughs> like, out of context, that doesn't make any sense. Alright, sweet. I got the berry bonus. Berry bonus doesn't make sense out of context either. Don't you hate that in a franchise? Like, you got these super mega nerdy friends that are just like... They they speak in tongues about, like, anything. <laughs> they speak in tongues when it comes to... Like, I was a huge Magic the Gathering friend... Or fan. Sorry. Like, I was a huge Magic the Gathering fan. And, uh, you know, I played it a lot when I was in college. And just the the amount of like I went to a ma like a card store and I'm like okay I'm just gonna buy my magic cards you know little little old me getting some magic cards like a nerd and just <laughs> the like I was talking to, like I was talking to somebody and just little old me getting magic cards at the magic card shop card comic book shop whatever you name it and i was talking to somebody casually about like oh you play magic too yeah blah 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 and then we got talking like and then he started speaking like oh yeah blah 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 this strategy that strategy and like like just the words that came out of this gentleman's mouth was just like what the hell did you just say to me like i'm kind of like are you are you trying to like outwit me with like your nerdiness like yeah i really love magic the gathering and the lore of it and like how like the different color spells symbolize a different thing and i'm like oh that's kind of cool on like a symbolic -y, uh esoteric level maybe um but like the strategy nerdy part of it like when you get overly like competitive i just bow out I think maybe that's what I'm what I'm like with Pokemon. I kind of just want to catch them, beat the Elite Four, and that's that. <laughs> and I think I should end it here, because my battery's about to die. Hopefully, uh, I, I'm just going to end it here so that I don't ruin the recording. See you next time. Okay, since I'm out and about, I'm going to catch a Pokemon. Hopefully I'll catch a couple. I'll try not to catch too much, but uh, no promises. I gotta burn through my items, folks. Let's see what we got here. We are loading into. Okay. Give it a minute, folks. Give it a minute. Oh, wow. So let's see. Hey, everybody. I. Am relatively close to a raid or is this a raid this isn't a raid so I figured I'm out and about and I might as well catch a Pokemon who is this guy Oh, leader Arlo that guy seems pretty cool he's got a pretty big jacket though he's got similar glasses to me except I think mine are a little bit cooler I don't know if I like the white frames or not. 
to you, girl. Have a ball. Have a ball. Have a ball, Mr. Turtwig. I'm under a bridge right now. <laughs> oh, sweet, I got it. Six days, oh yeah. Wow, I can't believe it's almost been a week again. Time is flying like nobody's business. And I'll send them away and that'll be that. No Pokemon nearby. What is that, a clink clang? It's a clink. Mr. Clink. I don't know if I should wait. Can I join? Can I actually... I don't want to use a remote raid pass, but it's it's uh, it's close by. Alright, I think I'll just leave it there. And until next time, everybody. Catch them all. I just wanted to add one more thing. So, last time, in the last episode, my pincer I put in a gym, and I'm like, it's still there. Nice. So I'm gonna get... How many coins do I got? Um... Yeah, I'm like just a little bit away from my, uh, from getting the item upgrade. And hopefully by then, um, you know, the, the storage upgrade. And let's see what we got. Yeah, if I get it up to 500, then I'll be like 20 under and we'll be in good standing. I can receive gifts and send them out, finally. Probably, I'll be able to hold on to my, all my great balls without having to burn through too many. And that's a good standing, too. 100 Ultra Balls, 100 Great Balls. Pokeballs are dime a dozen. I get 20 a week for being a good boy, doing my walkies. Um, but, you know, other than that, should be in good standing. I got a bunch of lure modules. I have not, I have yet to use a lure module. Ever since I started the game, I'm like, I'm going to hold on to these for whatever reason and it's gonna get to the point where like I just need to burn through <laughs> items I'll still hold on to them but I haven't used I might have used one incense for the lucky egg thingy I got like you know more than a dozen of those my lucky eggs are at six I'm in good standing folks you know if I actually applied myself I would probably get to level 40 if I really really wanted to but I'm not in any rush you know Everybody's gotten to max level and they've even doubled their max level without it even counting towards the game You know, I hope they they increase the level count to like 50 Hopefully I hope so because I, I like the level feature. It's like any RPG. I love leveling. I digress Once I get to level 40 then what you know I'm just gonna I could put some Pokemon in there how far away is that? That's like across the river. I don't think I want to do that though. I already got a pincer. And I think those Pokemon are going to be spent soon. Eh, screw it. Anyways, I just wanted to share that with you guys. My pincer is going to be... My pincer is going to bring back 50 coins and I should be in good shape for getting the item upgrade and we can move forward with that. But, you know, with the Pokemon journey, every good trainer will get to max level they'll do all the right things that's in that's in the strategy guides you know but to me it's like I'm not Gary Oak here Gary Oak did that shit Paul did that I don't think he has a last name I think it's just Paul Paul Tripp all the mean rivals they did all the stuff by the book and it's like Ash Ketchum I, I identify with that because he's stupid with battling and so am I because he holds this thing that's more important about Pokemon than just battling even though in the recent season of the uh, Pokemon franchise Pokemon journeys he's shown to be the battler but I'm convinced Ash is more than that he's more than just a battler even though he's won the championship in the Alola region I solemnly believe that he's he just goes off of his instincts man team instinct propaganda <laughs> you know because he's not intellectual he's not the strongest even though he's starting starting to be the strongest but like most of the career that I've seen for the past 20 30 years of Ash Ketchum he has been just 
going off the cuff of his hands, not not doing the the go-to strategy in the strategy guy. He's like the master of gimmicks almost. I digress from that. This is becoming more of a pokey talk than an actual gameplay. Well, I hope you guys find this entertaining at the very least. I'm a definite forever fan. And uh, there's nothing Pokemon can do that'll probably deter me from playing Pokemon. It would have to be a really good, really, really good reason to, like, kill it for me. Maybe maybe it ending would actually kill it for me. But, I, you know, I see it as, like, the Disney of Japan. They're, like, really up in that. Oh, I've been talking so much, the screen locked. <laughs> Anyways, I'm probably going to have some controversy over that opinion that I have, but I'll leave it at that. I'll see you guys later, alright? See you tomorrow. See you Sunday. The last day of the uh, catching of the Pokemons. Alright, see you later everybody. Already a shelmet, alas. So hey everybody, so there's a shelmet here, and I don't know if I should save it for when I go to do that lucky egg thing that I've done in the past, that I don't know if any of you are familiar with, because I had like, not as many subscribers back then. I still don't have many subscribers now, but don't rub it in. <laughs> and I know Pokemon Go is like an older game, I guess. For me, it's timeless, though. Let's see. Did I catch a Shelmet? Shelmet, 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 Shelmet. Uh, did I? I don't think I caught... Yeah, I can catch one. So I'll save it. I'll save it for a rainy day, maybe. But, um... Yeah. I'm not gonna catch it. Just because it's like... It's convenient. It's too convenient. And also, like, once I get the Lucky Egg activated, it'll double that XP for catching a new Pokemon. So if I don't catch any new Pokemon, I have no incentive to get more Pokemon box storage on top of the fact that I can make potential double XP if I did, like, this Lucky Egg binge. I don't know. It's a work in progress. Let's see. Catch seven Pokemon. Oh, you get, like, mega stuff. You get mega stuff. Actually, let's do... Should I do this field research thing? Do I catch a Pokemon with this? What the hell do I get with this? Oh, Scraggy. Damn it, and I just said I, I wasn't going to catch a, a rare Pokemon. It's like, or not a rare Pokemon, just one that... Is gonna, but if this is a high statted one, you know, if it's like a, it's gonna have a big PP. Plus, I love Scraggy. He's a little punk. I'm going against everything that I just talked about. This sucks. Oh well. Yeah, insta catch. The first Pokemon always wit, always whiz, always is seven. Nice. I keep stuttering. Ah, oh, well, I guess I gotta deal with catching Scraggies now. Unova was very barren anyways, and I didn't want to risk this being like a max 3-star statted Pokemon. Because to me, now that, you know, Shinies are so abundant, I feel like 3-star ultra rare are, are definitely ultra rare, because you never get a perfect stat Pokemon. And, you know, this is like some special event Pokemon from like a rewardy thingy like this guy. Oh, wow. Well, okay. Then all I have to do is claim the rewards from those three whenever I feel lazy. And I don't have to leave the house. <laughs> Get to stay cooped up forever, that's for sure. Power up a Pokemon five times. And then, you know, I got, like, not only that, I got these two to claim rewards for. Honestly, I, I think while I'm at it, I think I'm going to claim the reward for the these guys. Should I? Nah, that's like a... I'll leave that there, because it's like I could claim that at any time. And I, I could use the XP, but I don't really need it, ultimately. 
Actually, speaking of which, wait a second. Holy crap, my pincer's been there the whole time. I've never had that before. <laughs> Literally, my my pincer has been there for like three days. I didn't even know that that was possible. God. I guess it goes to show when you have a pincer with a pretty nice pee, -pee that the, the extra Pokemans come a-flying. There's a shiny muck. Man, what the hell? Nice Samurai? Sam Samurai? <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, I'm actually higher level than that guy. Heh <laughs> heh. That's a first. I'm never higher level than anybody. A slacking. That person's almost... Oh, it's that Norway chick from, like, the other day. She's still... Yeah, I think it was her slacking that really... Because I, I was at 499. I was at the same... Like, it's up to 571 now because I gave him a berry, but as you could see earlier, he was at 499. He was still at 499 when this lady put in slacking. I always thought that they just get kicked out because they just run out of CP juice and they just keep depleting over time. I didn't know that they get to a certain low and then they don't keep declining from there. So they have like a max level, I, I suppose, and a minimum level that they go to when they're left all by themselves by Jim. Huh. Huh. You know, I wonder if I should add these guys as friends. But wait, actually, I might have been exaggerating. Let's see the, yeah, okay. Two days, two hours, 54 minutes. So that was like, yeah, that was two days ago. Holy crap. Nice. Nice. I could have put another one in a gym and had to get kicked out the next day. But I'm actually, I'm fine with the way things are. You know, just leaving them in there. He's going to get kicked out soon. Look at all these guys. They're like crappy. I mean, not crappy, but you know what I mean? Like, they're they're all pretty much depleted other than the muck. And even then, the muck is like, the muck is probably just there for flavor because it's a shiny Pokemon and, you know, not a very high CP. So he's just there for show. Cool. Pretty cool. I am satisfied with that. Very cool. But man, I really wanted to get that those coins. It's still there though. <laughs> like I, I could get a daily box. Ah oh, man. See, I can't get my daily box. My one or two pokeballs. It's worth the amount of potions. I actually like potions. Believe it or not, I have too many max potions. I don't have enough regular potions. And I would rather have that be a bit more balanced. I actually, I don't know if I want to speak too soon. Because I like having a shit ton of max potions. But the the potion potions I use to just top off. I kind of use them like pokeballs. Where like, you know, when you, look at, when you look at the item spread that I got going on now. Like I got 42 pokeballs and like 100 ultra and great balls each. And it's because I burned through the pokeballs first. Like, why? Same thing goes with the potions. You know, if I, I got like a regular generic potion up there, super potion, regular potion, I just spam it on one single Pokemon until... And I also use them to top off Pokemon, like that pincer right there, the 2461 pincer, the executor. I use two, two regular potions to top off the executor, maybe a, a super potion. But other than that, man... Or wait, wait the Cherim. And I think I used the Cherim for like... What did I use them for? Probably to conquer the gym that I am still occupying basically or that dodrio you know top off with a regular potion so there's a lot of pokemon in my inventory that i keep just below full hp because i i want to i don't want to waste a max potion on that or a hyper potion it's like nah i got a regular potion or super potion will do just fine if i had one <laughs> there's the predicament i probably wouldn't be in this predicament if i hadn't like if i just left the house more i probably wouldn't have this problem this first world problem where is it really first world when we're all cooped up in the house but you know i digress from that whole political thing i'm just here to catch pokemon and i'm glad that pokemon go accommodates they accommodate to the uh <laughs> to the chaos basically 
Okay, let's see. Actually, can I add a friend? Let's see, can I look at my QR code? Yeah, check it out, everybody. I didn't do this before, but like, this is my trainer name and my QR code. If you want to be friends with me on, you know, Pokemons, you know, scan my QR code and we'll, we'll be buddies. I'm Team Instinct and I'm still playing it. I'm probably still going to play it until summer uh, wraps up. But, you know, if there's an excuse for me to do this every day and do my daily routine, I'm still going to do it. I might not record it. I might just live stream it and then, you know, publish it later on without any editing. That's ideally what I want to get to. Thousand subscribers so I could begin live streaming this stuff. Then we can, you know, all enjoy it together. And with that being said, you know, like, comment, subscribe. It's been forever since I've had such a nice spike in subscriber counts. And maybe by, you know, maybe soon I'll have like 300 subscribers and that'll be awesome. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> One could hope for, for us small, humble youtube channels oh geez if i if i if i could only be graced by the legendary 1000 subscribers and four hours of listening hours to then collecting monetization to then have it be banned <laughs> to, <laughs> to collect monetization to have it be demonetized because i used a no-no word in this video i can't win can't win folks hopefully they don't have the vice grip on everybody's balls for content creators out there i'm definitely discouraged when it comes to content creating so i'm kind of setting myself to a bit of a default when it comes to making content but i haven't given up yet i haven't given up yet not with music not with being a youtuber not with anything and i'd say you know like an episode of pokemon doesn't doesn't ash do like some special training and then he he wins I mean, I know it's not that can life isn't exactly that convenient, but doesn't give us a real reason to give up trying, you know. Anyways, inspirational quotes aside, I think I'll leave it at that. You guys are great, and yeah, catch them all. I'll see you in the next video.